everyone welcome back to blessings from the garden my name is latoya today i'll be showing you how to make roasted butternut squash so we have our butternut squash all diced and ready to this we're going to add one tablespoon of black pepper Two cloves of garlic, and this is crushed garlic. A tablespoon of minced rosemary, and then we're going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. Our final ingredient, one tablespoon of salt. Ensuring that all of the dices are properly coated. transferred into a tray All right, so this is our second recipe with a twist, just omitting the rosemary. So we have two tablespoons of olive oil. Then we add our crushed garlic. a pinch of black pepper or salt Then we're going to place it in our tray. Alright, so on to our final recipe. 
So to this small button of squash that is diced, I'm going to add two tablespoons of butter. And roughly about two tablespoons of sugar. And to this, we'll add just a pinch of salt. All three recipes will be roasted at 205 degrees Celsius for 40 to 50 minutes or until they're tender. Alright guys, so this one is the roasted butternut squash with the rosemary. The amount of rosemary being placed on it could have been less, so it's up to your liking because the rosemary is very strong. Okay. And this one is the roasted butternut squash without the rosemary. This one is the roasted butternut squash with sugar, butter and a pinch of salt. Um, this butternut squash was very small. Can you guys guess which one is my favorite recipe? Well, you guessed correctly, this one. This one is so nice. And now for a health nugget. Even though squash is botanically a fruit, it is predominantly cooked like a vegetable. Butternut squash is an excellent source of vitamin A. Vitamin A is essential for proper organ function and optimal vision. It also contains vitamin C and a good source of thiamine niacin and folate the low calorie fiber winter squash may help you lose weight and protect against conditions like cancer heart disease and mental decline it is very versatile and easily added to both sweet and savory dishes i hope you try all three recipes do tell us in the comment which one is your favorite Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.